The earliest signs of aging are described quite beautifully in one of the old texts of Ayurveda, Sharingadara, and I'll read you the quote. It says, With each passing decade the body loses one by one childhood, growth, luster and complexion, intelligence, skin health, strength of sight, virility, valor, discrimination, the use of the organs of action, the use of the senses, and finally at the ripe old age of 120, one loses life itself. So here is summarized very clearly the reality that Aging is an ongoing process which starts from the moment of conception and progresses as we progress through life until it comes to an end, when we come to an end. So it's part of life. In chapter 1 of, um, of Charaka, the most ancient text in Ayurveda, that Ayurveda says aging is a disease. And furthermore, Sharika says, aging is an incurable disease. So, where does that leave us? Fortunately, Chakrapani, a later text, points out that though an incurable disease, aging can be managed by use of Rasayana. So the question is, can people with the same diet and routine age differently? And if so, why? Well, yes, obviously, people do age differently. And Ayurveda is very informative in this regard because each of us is unique as Ayurveda understands us. And so the same diet and the same routine, the same lifestyle, the same experiences of life are going to impact differently on people who have a different nature, which is why each of us should use Ayurveda to understand our own nature and to recognize, well, what is the diet and the lifestyle and the routine and the experiences of life that actually, for me, keep a balance, keep me integrated so that I can prevent or manage my process of aging. And so for everybody, it's going to be slightly different. And that's why it behoves each of us to use the knowledge of Maharishi Ayurveda to recognize, to help us to wake up and realize who I am, what suits me, so that we take responsibility for our own ongoing process of aging and manage it appropriately. Maharishi Ayurveda is very much aware that Consciousness is the essence of our being. It's the fundamental. And whatever you put your attention on grows in life. So if you're attending to disease and complaints and problems, you're miserable. <laughs> so it's a very subtle but very genuinely useful paradigm to focus on health. So rather than thinking about aging, we think about how to rejuvenate. That's why Maharishi Ayurveda is focused on Maharishi Rasayana, the processes of rejuvenation, which, you know, we've talked about in terms of transcendental meditation, we've talked about it in terms of your feelings, your thinking, your behavior. And, and so all of those are ways that you can, um, by virtue of keeping a balance, maintain a youthfulness. And um, there's a lovely quote from Bhagavata, if I can find it, which I think summarizes the behavioral aspect of things. And what Bhagavata said is, those who speak the truth, who never become angry, who lead a spiritually pure life and are always serene, are considered to be rejuvenated daily. I think it's a nice little summary of that aspect of our own thinking, 
our own feeling, our own speech, our own action, and how when they're aligned to the very uplifting values, they serve to rejuvenate us so that we remain youthful. So through the transcendental meditation, through the behavior, what we'd also like to think about, of course, is the whole diet and digestion. But where to start with that? There's so much information and we have gone through it again in so many different ways. So there are other um, uh, little um, videos that you could probably look about the diet and digestion. The fourth thing that we're thinking about in relation to this topic is the Maharishi Rasayanas. So we should think about them as well. 